I was testing a local website and I found I was testing out uh, what happens when a page didn't exist and so I put in an invalid page on my local web server and I was getting back a blank page and at first I was a little confused because I expected to see the 404 page not found error page and when I actually looked at the headers of the response you can actually see I'm getting a 404 not found from the web server so I also was looking in IIS manager and I was looking at my local website and again I was trying to figure out where do I configure the error pages and I couldn't find it and I was getting a little confused ends up if you go into turn the Windows features on or off it ends up that this is a checkbox in the IIS uh, features configuration. So if you open up Internet Information Services, World Wide Web Services, open up Common HTTP Features, and then you'll notice there's this HTTP Errors checkbox. Go ahead and check that. Click OK, and this will take a minute. I'm going to go ahead and close IIS Manager as well. So now that it's uh, done the configuration, go ahead and relaunch IIS Manager. And you can actually see it now. The error pages uh, is now there. So I go ahead and look at my website. And now you can actually see the error pages that are configured. So, and then if I go to my actual website, refresh the page, now I'm getting the 404 not found page that I was looking for. So, hopefully this postal, this, this screencast will help someone figure out where they're, you know, if they're missing your HTTP 404 not found or any of your other typical HTTP error code pages, you have to turn it on in the Windows features. So, hopefully this helps. Take care.